we had a, I think we had like 55 about shows canceled this year or 2020 rather. Um, we're Meet That Shit, a new music blog from Portland. Just wanted to represent some bands that we we're excited about and just sort of give you guys like a platform to talk about sort of like whatever you want, but just things associated with the band. Cool. Like ask you a few questions. Just wanted to start out saying that um, I personally fell in love with your music in like fall of 2019. Um, I was super excited upon seeing the Uncrossed video for the first time. Um, you could often find me just like dancing in my house and just jamming out to that album because thank you. <laughs> super loved it. Um, I was really excited to see you guys on tour. I was living in San Francisco at the time. Um, I was going to see you guys and play in Oakland on 420 actually. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was kind of just like, my first question would kind of just be, how would you describe what that experience would have been like? Like, what is a Korean show like from your perspective? I just try to give energy and like, you know, kind of interpret the songs in in the way that, that makes sense to me right. and like as the way I intended them. And I think that's what like live kind of uh, people like get to see that, like the interpretation of the songs, like as they were intended. Right. Yes. Yeah. The big thing though, is like, I think the music kind of resonates with some people and they're like, I like this song, but I feel like once they kind of see us doing it, I think it kind of like makes a bit more sense for them or like it kind of comes together in this way. And then people are like, well now, like I, I get it. Or I've had some people like straight up say like, I didn't really like it that much before. <laughs> and then I saw you guys play and like, I like it now. You can kind of tell about the evolution of your albums that the music's kind of grown a little bit heavier and a little bit more pronounced um, in your emotions of, of essentially seeming to get a little bit darker and more like involved. Um, are there any songs that stand out as triggering into these emotions or any, any places where these have came from throughout the course of your music? Um, I think like a lot of the things that <clears throat> I tend to, you know, talk about in the lyrics are, are more kind of like um like motifs of things that have actually like happened to me and like I've experienced but like without any context necessarily behind it or maybe it's not even that like I've experienced it maybe it's like I've heard about it or and it affected me in some way or it, it I, there's like a variety of things but generally it's kind of like I I like to show like kind of like a scene or, or a feeling or an emotion and but without ne like the context necessarily and so like the listener could like put in put it in its their own context. I think I think from when we started doing this um, I feel like we kind of always wanted to be a certain way but we've it has been like a learning process for both of us as we've gone on mm -hmm. uh, we do all like the recording and like producing and stuff for ourselves so i feel like it's been like I, and like i think as we've played shows too i think like kind of like our confidence i guess has gone up a little bit so i feel like we're we're starting to like and i feel like this is continuing i feel like i mean we probably won't ever feel like we've done like our, our best track ever but like i feel like we're getting closer and closer as we go on to like what we have like internally always wanted it to be um, yeah. and I, I, I can only hope that it will continue to get closer to whatever that may be. Are there any things that you have particularly learned during the process of making this new album that stuck out? Like things that you're excited about that you did differently that you were like, wow, like we're really doing this this time, like proud of this, um, in relation to recording or song making, anything like. Um, I, I definitely think it's like, well, with the, with the newer record, I definitely think, uh, we both put like a lot of ourselves into it. And I, I definitely like, that's like something that, you know, I want to share within the music is like a piece of who I am, like as a person and like internally and like spiritually, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's like the goal is to just like kind of have like a, a shared experience of some kind through music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think we kind of like got a bit more bold kind of 
just being ourselves with it too. I mean, obviously there's like some very obvious like 80s tropes to like the production and like the instrumentation and things that we choose, but we don't really view ourselves as like, um, you know, we don't really view ourselves to be in any of these categories that our music often gets placed in. Like, I don't like see us as like a like post-punk band or I don't see us as like a synth wave band or, you know, yeah, it, we're just like kind of using the sounds that we like to make music. And I feel like every album we've kind of put out has just been kind of like, um, using those tropes but I feel like it's become like more of our own thing or I like to think it's becoming more of our own thing as we go and I feel like the last album was kind of like a good uh representation of us taking sounds that are like familiar but like having to be you know distinctly us still like yeah like familiar sounds but perceived through like our lens were there any things that were directly inspiring to you like any any artists or any anything related to the creation or are you just trying to make a whole new thing? I mean, I, I think there's definitely like, there's definitely like a lot of stuff we, you know, I know we both get inspired by. Um, for me personally, it's not so much like the music necessarily as much as it is like the feelings I get <laughs> from, from listening to it and like, yeah like what like they portray in like the imagery hmm. it is about the music to an extent but i think it's more about like how we both internalize it mm -hmm. and then like you know regurgitate it like a bird into, <laughs> the, into, the, into the person's ears yeah <laughs> yes we were actually talking to um someone else about this recently but i uh i we did quite a bit of like touring in 2019 as well and i think uh the album is like pretty like kind of in the similar realm of like tempo and like feeling like there isn't there aren't, there aren't a whole lot of like drops in like um, the energy and I think a lot of that comes from just like us being like super amped when we're on the road and like wanting to just kind of like perpetuate the the that energy feeling. we like yeah that and, and like perpetuating the energy mm -hmm. or recreating the energy in like album form of like what we like best about performing um we're actually like already working on like new music quite a bit which is which a minute ago you said new album and I was like how does how does he know about the new album we <laughs> yeah. can't really give anything too much away but I what I will say is that I think because the majority of this music was made like during COVID mm -hmm. um, uh, there's definitely more like dynamic to it as a whole like as the chunk of music that we're working on right now um because it's not directly inspired from like being on the road or being like it's not all upbeat like there's we have like slower songs there's like more of like um dynamic range to the the mix and I think that just comes from like you know we're stuck inside now we still wish we were playing shows but like there's kind of like a new emotion to go off of as well. Have you guys been doing anything besides music related that have been kind of keeping keeping your minds like self-care just general hobbies and stuff? Um I mean you know video games are pretty cool <laughs> uh, you know they they help to pass the time and um, reading is uh, also helpful in much the same way. Um, before it was like too cold, I was walking around in like the woods and stuff. And that's yeah. nice to do. So I guess just keeping yourself busy and distracted. It's It's been like crappy to, you know, feel isolated and, and, you know, feel alone and stuff. But like, at the same time, it's not all bad. And because if you focus on how every, how shit is all bad, then, you know, that's going to work its way into your reality. And I think that, I don't know, it, it's, it's like, it's like a, a muscle or something, you know, if, it, if you're like always focusing on the bad thing, you know, that the bad muscle is going to be really strong and like be able to like overpower you. But if you focus more on like what's good, like however small or, you know, benign it may be, then, you know, it, it, it'll eventually you'll start thinking with that good muscle. Basically like Thanksgiving through Valentine's Day is probably like the hardest time of the year for me anytime. Yeah. Um, just because it's like, it's bleak, there's less going on. Um, 
But I will say overall, this winter has been less difficult than past winters for me. And I, I don't know if it's just because the whole year was shitty or. or <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of friends who are actually moving to Philly right now or have over the past like a year or so. So um, how could you describe like what your community like is there um, during these um, times of making music and like normalcy, essentially? Right. Um, I mean, there's like in Philly, it's like there's definitely a thriving like DIY or I mean, you know, in previous times there, <laughs> there was like a thriving DIY community, um, lots of punk shows everywhere. And there was also, you know, a lot of people doing electronic music as well. And it was just like, I don't know, Philly's just very, very, it feels like, like a small town almost, but like in a good way, <laughs> like, um, but it's, I don't know, it's just like the, the creativity down here and like, just like, it's, I don't know, it's unlike anywhere that I've been, I think. Yeah, I feel similarly. It's um, it's definitely unique, and I feel like, I feel like it's um one of the few major cities left in the country that has, kind of been untainted. Yeah, knock on wood. I mean, I I'm sure it's on its way yeah. there, but uh, it's been kind of like, untainted by um, you know, like in the way like that New York is and things like the the music scene there is you know struggling and was struggling before COVID, mm -hmm. um, primarily because of like wealth inequality and things like that. Um, and Philly has its own share of that, obviously, but it's definitely like on a much smaller scale than pretty much every other major city that we've been on tour and stuff. And I kind of hope it stays that way, but. Yeah, I mean, I think Philly too is kind of unique in, in, in the sense that it doesn't, I don't know, I've like lived in New York before and like everything kind of felt like this competition, this, you know, like people talk about like how New York is a rat race, like that's true. And it's just, it doesn't, it lacks like New York's kind of like aggressive energy mm -hmm. and just kind of, it kind of is like, feels more empty in a lot of ways, but mm -hmm. like emptiness isn't always a bad thing. <laughs> Anything that you guys have been too, super excited about based on Corey and any news coming up that we can kind of wrap it up with? Well, I guess we'll just like touch on like the stuff that's coming up. I mean, we're we're gonna be putting out a video soon for a song on the last album that like the night we raised, the most recent album. That'll be coming out soon. It'll be like the last thing we're gonna do with that album, I think. And then in the spring, uh, we're gonna put out a new single, which uh, I'll leave unnamed for now, but um, <laughs> it'll be out sometime probably in March. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to kind of like slowly unveiling new stuff across the year because I feel like we still have so much time before we're going to be able to play shows again mm -hmm. so we're kind of just trying to take our time <laughs> until we can thank you so much for taking your time it was really nice to meet you guys yeah, of course. likewise hopefully we'll you. meet uh IRL yeah. sometime yeah <laughs> see ya nice to meet you.